Hi guys! In the world of industrial connectivity, establishing a stable and reliable local area network is important. Today, we are going to discover the key to establishing a stable LAN connection between two network switches, unlocking the power of industrial connectivity. And you can experience the expertise of our designer with a complimentary design consultation for your technology system by simply clicking the link down in the description box below and you can send us your questions. Using industrial network switches is crucial for maintaining reliable and high-performance network in industrial environment. Those switches offer robustness, security features, centralized management capability, and support for industrial protocols. By leveraging industrial network switches, organizations can ensure seamless connectivity and safeguard critical infrastructure in industrial setting. And it's really common to linking two industrial switches together, which at different locations. So now let's move on to the next scene where we have the whole setup. So behind me is the whole setup. We are going to connect to a PTZ camera at the edge using those two industrial managed switch. So when selecting an industrial network switch, it is important to consider several factors. Here's a brief selection guide. First, industrial grade design. You should have features like wide temperature range and IP rated enclosure to withstand harsh environment. Second, port configuration and speed. You should enable the number and the type of the ports that we require for your network. And consider gigabit ethernet as well as the mix of copper and fiber optic cable ports. Third, redundancy to prevent network downtime and maintain uninterrupted communication. Last but not least is Defender support. Choose one that provides excellent technology support to address any potential issues that might arise. And those are just some of the factors that you should consider. Make sure you choose the right one for your application. So now let's take a closer look at our switch. So this side, we have the 8GE2 SFP Industrial Fast Ring Managed Network Switch. It is designed to meet harsh industrial environment. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. And you can get a manageable network system with redundancy and simple installation. And it can also benefit from continuous operation thanks to the fast ring recovery protection. It has a RJ45 Ethernet port with up to 1000M and 2 gigabit SFP port to provide long distance, high speed and low latency fiber optic connection. It also has powerful traffic management and QoS and VLANs capability and etc. So beside the network switch, we have the industrial 48 volt DC power supply. It has continuous 120 watts output value with 92.5% working efficiency, featuring rock metal housing, which is perfect for industrial application. The working temperature range is from minus 20 degrees up to 70 degrees. Also, you can accept a wide input voltage range from 90 volt AC to 260 volt, volt AC, which can meet various situation. And it can supply for our network switch since our network switch can adopt dual DC power input for redundancy. So together they can achieve high stability for the system operation. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So let's use a short patch cord to connect our main network router to the NVR first. And then you're using another Ethernet cable to connect our main network data to our industrial managed switch. Let's plug it in here. This is the SFP transceiver and this is usually sold separately because you have to determine what kind of connector and fiber optic cable that you use. And we are going to plug it into our SFP slot.
and this is where we connect with the fiber optic cable as you can see we have the two string fiber optic cable the connector is already pre-made so we don't have to worry about it and it's 100% tested in the factory let's plug it in here we are using string A now and leave string B for spare use and the power source is already plugged into the switch so over here we have a 100 meters fiber optic cable over this side we are going to do exactly the same thing this is a four port industrial switch it's exactly as the one over there only this is a four port let's plug in the SFP transceiver and use string A and connect both switches together and using a short patch cord to connect our switch to the PDZ camera so now everything is connected let's give it a little bit of time to run so the video should come up pretty soon Here we go, and let me wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So now our whole connection is done. So using industrial switches can emphasize reliability, management feature, and ease of use. However, those switches require external power supply for the edge device. But no worry, because we also have the PoE version, which is available to provide PoE capability. Now, if you need to add more network switches, you might want to daisy chain the switch shortcoming, but actually, you can use the spare string of the fiber optic cable to connect to each switch linking back to the main switch. And here's a video on how to connect multiple network switches without daisy chain by using the fiber optic cable. And thank you very much for watching.